The milking process is the most important job on a dairy farm. Most dairy farmers milk twice a day, seven days a week, for between 280 and 365 days a year. Therefore, it is critical that it is carried out and completed correctly. Today, Pork O'Connor will be showing us best practice when carrying out the milking routine on your dairy farm. My name is Patrick O'Connor. I'm working with Chagask, and today we're in Ballyhead Agricultural College going through the milking routine. Three main objectives of a good milking routine. One is producing high quality milk. The second thing is being as efficient as you can inside in the milking pit. And the third one is, you know, to have it as stress-free as possible for both the milking operators and the cows themselves as well. So health and safety is a big aspect here too. Start in the milking parlour, walk through the milking parlour just to make sure that all the gates are closed properly and that the milking machine is ready as well. So have the milking parlour ready. I will always say to students or farmers, milkers, you know, are a conduit between the milking machine and the cow. And it's important that you keep yourself clean before, during and after milking. Okay? That means having a clean parlour apron or a parlour suit and wearing nitrile disposable gloves as well. And keeping those clean as you go, as you go through the milking. Clusters have to go on to clean, dry teats. That's really, really important. Here today, we're actually uh, pre-spraying the cows and wiping them before we put the clusters on. Now the reason for that is that you know there's a higher bacteria load at this time of the year in the springtime of the year compared to when they're out at grass. We are attaching the clusters <clears throat> and this is the left hand side of the parlour. The reason being is you know uh, you're looking at in the same direction as the cows which are back to the collecting yard. Um, so I'm holding the cluster with the hand that's closer to the front of the pit which is my right hand. Left hand side of the parlour holding it with the right hand and going around in a circle. Starting off with the back right, the front right, the front left, and the back left. It's also important that the cluster sits squarely onto the cow. In other words, good cluster alignment. That's to uh, cut down on any line or slip uh, when the cow is partially milt out or nearly fully milt out. And that will cut down on mastitis levels. I would always advocate we start at the front of the parlour and work your way back. Okay, two reasons for that. One is, particularly in bigger parlours, once the first four or five cows are in place, you can start cupping you can start preparing and cupping, you know, while the other cows are filtering into the parlour. The second reason for starting at the front is when you're taking off the clusters, when you're maybe three quarter way back the row, you, you can actually release the row that you're taking the clusters off of. Okay, so I'm going to remove the cluster from this particular cow here. She's on the left hand side of the parlour. So I'm going to catch the cluster with my left hand this time. So it's when I move it across to the other side, to the right hand side, I'm holding the cluster with the, with the hand I need to be holding the cluster with. So I kink the tube, wait for two or three seconds to take it off the cow, and then just swing it across. And pore spraying is really important. Okay, making sure the whole battle of the teeth, of all the teeth, are, are, are covered with teeth spray and we're talking about 15 mils of spray per cow per milking and that's really important. When the milking is over, uh, you know, make sure to clean down the parlour, that's washing the outsides of the clusters, washing the facilities itself and then washing the plant internally, that's really important and going through that routine. Well that's it from us, next time you're milking your cows keep some of Pork's top tips in mind and see if there are any changes you can make to your milking routine that might make you more efficient while also looking after yourself.